Did you know that the coldest temperature ever recorded on Earth was minus 128.6 degrees Fahrenheit, and it was recorded in Antarctica? But what if I told you that beneath this hostile, frigid expanse, there might be traces of ancient civilizations? Sounds outlandish, doesn't it? But stick with me, because this icy mystery is a rabbit hole that goes deep into our past. Today we're going to delve into a world that is often overlooked in our discourse about ancient civilizations, the frozen continent of Antarctica. Now, Antarctica might be the last place you would think of when it comes to ancient civilizations. After all, it's the coldest, windiest and driest continent, a harsh landscape covered in ice up to a mile thick. It's seemingly inhospitable, an icy wilderness that is the definition of desolation. And yet, what if I told you that this freezing wasteland may have once been a bustling hub of ancient activity? Through the ages, Antarctica has been subject to a variety of hypotheses and theories. It has always been a source of mystery, partly due to its inaccessibility and the harsh conditions that make exploration a formidable challenge. Some theories suggest that this continent, now hidden beneath miles of ice, was once home to ancient civilizations that we can hardly imagine. These theories often hinge on controversial interpretations of satellite imagery, ancient maps and unique structures spotted under the ice, suggesting human or perhaps even non-human activity. One of the most famous pieces of evidence is the Piri Race map, a pre-modern world map compiled in 1513 by the Ottoman admiral and cartographer Piri Race. Part of this map shows the northern part of Antarctica, ice-free, which has led to speculations about ancient maritime civilizations with advanced geographical knowledge. Critics, however, argue that the map is a compilation of multiple sources, some of which may have been flawed. Satellite imagery of Antarctica has also led to intrigue and speculation. In 2006, Google Earth users spotted a formation in Antarctica that looked uncannily like a face leading to suggestions of a lost civilization. S scientists, however, think that this is a natural phenomenon known as pareidolia, where the mind perceives a familiar pattern where none actually exists. The most provocative theories suggest that ancient alien civilizations could have once made their home on the icy continent, pointing towards supposed pyramid-like structures visible beneath the ice, though these claims are yet to find any substantial scientific backing. So, what is the truth? Is it possible that an ancient civilization could have once existed in this inhospitable landscape? Or are these theories the products of overactive imaginations and misinterpreted data? It's time for us to embark on a journey of exploration and discovery into the icy depths of Antarctica. We're all familiar with the mysteries of the ancient world, but Antarctica's mysteries are, well, colder and much more unusual. There are theories that take our understanding of ancient civilizations and flip it on its head, painting a picture of a past that is both startling and thought-provoking. Let's delve into some of these unconventional theories, each with its unique blend of mystery, speculation, and a dash of audaciousness. The first, and perhaps the most known, is the hypothesis that Antarctica is the lost continent of Atlantis. Proponents of this theory suggest that around 12,000 years ago, the entire continent was shifted from a temperate zone to the South Pole due to Earth's crust displacement, a controversial idea put forward by Charles Hapgood in the 1950s. This cataclysmic event, they suggest, froze the sophisticated Atlantean civilization in a matter of days, preserving it beneath the ice. But what about those pyramid-like structures I mentioned earlier? Some theorize that these are remnants of this ancient civilization. These structures visible via satellite, bear an uncanny resemblance to the pyramids of Egypt and Central America. However, most scientists argue that these pyramid-like formations are likely the result of natural erosion and wind patterns unique to Antarctica. And then there's the theory of an ancient extraterrestrial outpost in Antarctica. It's been suggested that some of the unusual formations and anomalies found on the continent may be the remains of alien technology or structures proponents of this idea often cite supposed UFO sightings and unexplained phenomena in the region. But again, these claims have not found widespread acceptance in the scientific community. And let's not forget the speculation surrounding ancient maps, like the Piri Race and Orontius Phineas maps, which seem to depict the Antarctic coastline free of ice, 
suggesting that the cartographers had knowledge of the continent long before it was officially discovered. Skeptics, however, argue that these maps are based on guesswork and mistaken interpretations of other landmasses. The Piri race map has long been a subject of fascination among historians, cartographers and conspiracy theorists alike. Drawn in 1513 by Ottoman Admiral and cartographer Piri Race, this map illustrates parts of Europe, Africa and the Americas with surprising accuracy for the time. But the intrigue doesn't stop there. The southernmost portion of the map seems to depict the northern coastline of Antarctica, a landmass not officially discovered until 1820. But how is that possible? Some proponents of unconventional theories suggest that the map is evidence of an advanced ancient civilization that had detailed geographical knowledge long before modern science. They argue that the Piri race map, along with other similar cartographic anomalies, proves that ancient mariners must have charted the Antarctic coast when it was free of ice, a situation that hasn't existed for over 34,000 years according to current scientific understanding. The details of the Piri race map are remarkable. It is said to include mountain ranges that were not discovered until the advent of modern seismic surveys and even features a detailed depiction of the Andean range in South America, which is surprisingly accurate for a 16th century map. However, skeptics caution against reading too much into these observations. They argue that the map's supposed depiction of Antarctica could be based on a misunderstanding of the South American coastline. As for the extraordinary detail, they suggest that this could be the result of synthesis from a variety of sources, some of which may have contained errors or embellishments. Despite the debate, one fact remains. The Piri race map is an extraordinary piece of historical cartography. It offers a glimpse into the knowledge and skill of early 16th century navigators and the seafaring cultures that produced them. And although the debate around the Piri race map and its implications for our understanding of ancient civilizations will likely continue, it undeniably continues to add a layer of mystery to that is Antarctica. As we continue to dig deeper into our past, we are left pondering what else is waiting to be discovered. As you might expect, the scientific community's perspective on the possibility of ancient civilizations in Antarctica is rooted in a careful analysis of available evidence and our current understanding of geology, climate history and human development. Firstly, Antarctica is and has been for millions of years the coldest, driest and windiest continent with temperatures that can drop below minus 80 degrees Celsius. Surviving in such conditions would be a monumental challenge for any civilization, ancient or modern. Thus, the idea of a long-lost society thriving in this frozen landscape seems unlikely. In terms of geology and climate history, our current understanding tells us that Antarctica has been covered in ice for about 34 million years. This was confirmed by ice cores drilled deep into the Antarctic ice sheet, which provide a record of past climates. This leads us to question, if Antarctica has been an icy wasteland for millions of years, how could an ancient civilization have existed there? Furthermore, the timeline of human evolution and migration also complicates the idea of an ancient Antarctic civilization. Modern humans are believed to have emerged around 300,000 years ago, and our ancestors began to migrate out of Africa about 70,000 years ago. But even if they could have reached Antarctica, the extreme conditions would have made survival virtually impossible. That said, the scientific community is not dismissive of all unconventional ideas. The Piri race map, for instance, does raise interesting questions about the knowledge of ancient seafarers. However, uh, rather than attributing this to a lost civilization, most scientists would likely view it as a testament to the skill and knowledge of the historical societies that we already know about. Let's delve into the realm of the deepest human-made hole and consider the climatic history of Antarctica. The title for the deepest humans have drilled into the earth goes to the Kola Super Deep Borehole, located in Russia. This ambitious drilling project reached a staggering depth of about 7.5 miles or 12 kilometers before it was stopped in the early 1990s. Even this depth, however, is still less than 0.2% of the Earth's total radius. As for Antarctica, deep ice cores have been drilled, but these extend only a few kilometers down, providing a record of hundreds of thousands of years of Earth's climate history. This brings us to the climatic past of Antarctica. According to geologists, Antarctica has not always been the frozen land we know today. 
The continent was once part of the supercontinent Gondwana, which existed in the Southern Hemisphere millions of years ago. Fossil records indicate that Gondwana was home to a variety of plant and animal life, suggesting a much warmer climate. Around 180 million years ago, Gondwana started to break apart. Antarctica slowly moved to its present location over the South Pole, and by about 34 million years ago, the continent was rapidly cooling. This cooling trend culminated in the formation of a permanent ice sheet. However, while there were fluctuations in the extent of the ice cover due to global climate cycles, Antarctica has been largely icy for millions of years. There are indeed hypotheses suggesting that parts of Antarctica could have been ice-free and warmer during certain periods due to factors like geothermal heat and changes in Earth's orbit. However, these periods likely occurred millions of years ago, well before humans existed. Thus, while Antarctica may have once been a warmer, hospitable place, this would have been in a geological era far removed from the advent of human civilization. Despite this, the question of Antarctica's past and its secrets continue to captivate scientists and explorers, keeping the icy continent firmly in the realm of intriguing exploration. I hope you enjoyed our video today. Let me know any ideas or suggestions for future videos down below. And as always, thanks for watching.